mailbox and I see what it is, I immediately trash can it. Years ago, I read it to see what it was. Now I recognize it. I know what it is. And so I trash can it uh, simply because, number one, I don't want it around me. Number two, I don't want to bother reading it. And number three, I disagree vociferously with the people who hold to this particular point of view. And uh, <clears throat> if indeed, uh, and I say if indeed, in Scripture, one can find that the white race was to be the supreme race, then God in his own time will see that that will be done. I don't see where anywhere out there, as I, as I discuss, and I, and I consider myself to be somewhat a student of the Christian religion and of the Holy Scriptures and, and related, public, related publications, I, in, the, in years and years and years and years of search and reading it and studying it and making interpretations and reading other people's interpretations, I do not find anywhere, anywhere, even remotely, where God has indicated, or Jesus indicated, or any of the apostles or the prophets indicated, that one race was to be superior. Please keep in mind the word superior to any other race. Now, because God is God, and because he wrote the rules of the game, and you and I can vote <clears throat> as many times as we want to vote, God only needs one vote, and that outvotes all of us. Uh, he, can, he can rig the game any way he wants to rig it. Therefore, though the scripture says that he is not a respecter of persons, he is a selector of persons. And he has selected certain individuals throughout biblical history and natural history to do certain things that he has wanted them to do. I could take you scripturally through a dozen instances, Pharaoh of Egypt, Moses, Joshua, uh, Saul, David, Jeremiah, the twelve apostles, uh, the chief apostle, which would of course be Paul, a variety of these individuals that were selected for specific purposes to do specific things at specific times in God's own timetable. But and he, even, he even chooses nations from time to time to do certain things that he wants done in his plan. But for us to go out there and to implement prior to or against his will or against his time frame or to appropriate things to ourselves that are not appropriatable to us we get screwed up, and this is exactly what has happened to some of these people who call themselves the white supremacists or the Aryan nation or the variety. They have appropriated things out of scripture to themselves. They have isolated, they have taken out of context. This is why it's not working. If they were indeed the individuals that God had designed to do certain things historically in this time frame or any other time frame, it would work. God would not be defeated. God's plan would not be thwarted. If he is indeed sovereign, if he is indeed omnipotent, if he indeed is all-knowing and all of the things that we who follow him in one form or another ascribe to his personality, there would be no conceivable way that you could defeat his plan or his purpose. But when you take things such as these people up there, up there have got, that the white people are to be a superior race, and that we are to do this or expunge the others, or that Jews are the spawn of Satan, or that the black race in America is uh, the spawn of Ham, the curse of Canaan, if you will. All of this is preposterous. There is no scriptural foundation for this whatsoever. And uh, if, if, in, if indeed, if indeed, as we celebrate Easter, that the religious Jews of that time, 2,000 years ago, were instrumental in the crucifixion of Jesus, it was because it was in the plan of God. Otherwise, it could not have happened. And there are multitudes of people out there on the fringes of Christianity who hate the Jews because, and they call them Christ killers and a whole bunch of things of this sort. This is wrong. This is not scripture. This is not Christian. It is not right in any sense of the word. If, in fact, this is what occurred, then it was because God planned it that way. He used these individuals to do what he wanted done. 
Now, I leave you with this, those of you who have this attitude, who don't like the people particular of this, or people who think that the uh, colored races of whatever color they may be are subhuman or sub-white or sub-whatever you want to make them sub, you're wrong in, in all of this. Because this is not the way God planned it. This is not the way it happens. This is not the way it's done. Now, even if all of this were true, even if there was a bunch of malicious Jewish religious leaders that connived and conspired and did all those mean, dirty, rotten, ugly things that certain people want to ascribe to them 2,000 years ago, Jesus himself on the cross said, Father, forgive them. Now, Jesus never prayed a prayer that wasn't answered. Think about that. He never prayed a prayer that wasn't answered. And if he said, Father, forgive them, God forgave them. Now, who am I 2,000 years later, or 1,000 years later, or whatever? Who am I to say, well, those dirty, rotten Jews, or those dirty, rotten blacks, or this, that, and all the other? Who am I to say that? If I truly believe in the Christian religion, if I truly believe in Jesus Christ, if I truly believe in all of these things, I cannot have that attitude. So for those of you that are bothered with it, and I wish that would be a message that I could get to the boys in the compound up there, that you're wrong in all of these things. And sooner or later, ever how he decides to do it, God will see that his plan is implemented, whatever his plan may be. And I, there's not a human being on the face of the earth that fully understands and I'm talking to believers now. I'm not talking to people who don't believe. I'm talking to people that are believers in the Christian religion. And that is, there's not a human being on the face of the earth right now that fully, completely, unequivocally, without error, understands everything that God is doing or going to do. Now again, I'm through with that, but I want to say to those of you who, who happen to take another view or whatever else, maybe agnostic, atheist, or some other particular religion other than Christian. That's my interpretation. I don't ask you to believe it. I don't put that on anybody else. Again, my doctrine is private. If you can accept it, terrific. If you can't, that's all right. Okay, let's go to the phone lines, and you've been very patient.